How to make a custom keyboard layout in OS X. I recently moved to OS X and I find the system a Russian phonetic layout unsatisfying, it's not the one that I'm used to. How can I create a custom layout? I've read about Ukulele, but the layout I created and copied to library slash keyboard layouts doesn't show up in keyboard preferences. I'm using OS X 10.9 Mavericks. I searched for solutions in internet, but most of them were outdated. Open Ukulele and choose File for New from Current Input Source. In new versions of Ukulele, it also assigns a new ID to the keyboard layout automatically. Edit the keyboard layout, save the keyboard layout to some temporary location like the desktop. Saving directly to Library Keyboard Layouts fails silently. You can use either of the two formats. The iOS style popover shown when holding keys only work with the bundle format. The single XML file default format is simpler though. When using XML, make sure that the file is saved with a .keylayout extension. Move the keyboard layout to Library Keyboard Layouts. Keyboard layouts in tilde Library Keyboard Layouts can't be selected in password dialogs or on the login window. Restart the computer. Logging out and back in is not enough. Enable the new keyboard layout from System Preferences. To apply changes to a keyboard layout, run sudo touch library keyboard backslash layouts and restart. See this URL for more information. Update October 2015. There is a new version of Ukulele 3.0.0 that includes the option to install the layout from within the app. I still needed to go to system preferences to activate it, but did not need to go through the command line at all. Creating the keyboard layout file. I too used ukulele to generate a keyboard layout. You can then export the dot bundle or dot key layout file and copy it to a library at keyboard layouts. If you want to have the icon for the keyboard bundled in one file, ukulele offers an export to bundle option. So in this case, copy the dot bundle file instead. Alternatively, you can keep the icon separate and copy them with the same name to the same folder. After a reboot, you can add the input source in System Preferences, Keyboard, Input Sources menu. Probably available under Others, or the language if you attached a language to the keyboard in Ukulele. How to create an .icns file. Then add the following PNGs to the folder. You don't need all these, but this is the official list. Some are redundant in pixel count, but indicate density. Example project on GitHub. My Ukrainian-Russian project on GitHub is a demo that is currently working on Mavericks 10.9.5. Ukulele might work for you. Just be warned that it seems to be rebinding keys at the software level, rather than hardware level, so you'll probably start running into issues like some apps not recognizing modifier or special key rebindings, not being able to use it in password dialogues, etc. If you're looking for a more robust solution, check out Carabiner. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.